All right, so in this problem, I have 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite this equation. So 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. And now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So I get 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 81 to the power of x times 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 81. So I get 81 is equal to x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. And x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x is the same thing as x to the power of 18 times 1 over x, which is the same thing as x to the power of 18 over x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 18 on both sides. So I get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 18 over x to the power of 1 over 18. And this is the same thing as 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 18 over x times 8 times 1 over 18, and these two 18s cancel out, so I get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 81 here is the same thing as 9 squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 9 squared to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2 times 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And 2 times 1 over 18 is the same thing as 1 over 9. So I get 9 to the power of 1 over 9 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, notice how this is in the form a number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is equal to this number 9. So now, going back to the original equation, let's go ahead and check if this is right. So I have 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. So x is equal to 9. So if I plug in 9 for x, I get 81 to the power of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of 18. Now, 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4, and 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I get 3, 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 9 is equal to 3 squared to the power of 18. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 times 9, which is 3 to the power of 36. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 18, which is equal to 3 to the power of 36 as well. So this is right. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of x to the power of three is equal to 729. So to solve this, what I'm first gonna do is take the power of three on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of three to the power of three is equal to 729 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. Now, m times n, I can also rewrite as n times m. And if something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, then
then a to the power of n times m should also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So now from here, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And I can think of x to the power of 3 as m and 3 as n. So if I switch the places of these two, I get x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. And remember, this is equal to 729 to the power of 3. Now, from here, I'm going to let x to the power of 3 equal to the variable y. So I get y to the power of y is equal to 729 to the power of 3. Now, I can simplify 729 to the power of 3. So 729 is the same thing as, so 729, let's find some factors of this. So a factor of 729, let's try to divide this by 3. 729 divided by 3, we have 2 over here, so we get 6. We subtract 7 with 6, we get 1, we bring that to 2. 3 times 4 is 12. And now we bring that to 9, 3 times 3 is 9. So I get 729 is equal to 243 times 3. Now, 243, if I divide this by 3, I get 81. So I have this times 3 times 81, or sorry, I have 3 times 3 times 81, and 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. So I have 3 times 3 times 3 to the power of 4, which is equal to 3 to the power of 6, meaning 729 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 6. And 3 to the power of 6, I can break that down into 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared, which is equal to 9 to the power of 3. So, I'm going to replace 9 to the power of 3 with 729. So I get y to the power of y is equal to 9 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And the reason I did this is because 3 to the power, 9 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 9 to the power of 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. So I get y to the power of y is equal to 9 to the power of 9. And now I can use the property a to the power of a is equal to, if a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, y is equal to 9. Now, recall how I let x to the power of 3 equal to y. Meaning, I get x to the power of 3 is equal to 9. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. So I get the cube root of x to the power of 3 is equal to the cube root of 9. Now the cube root of x to the power of 3 is simply just x, so I get x is equal to the cube root of 9. And this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 1 third.